No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Limelight, makers of professional lighting for independent filmmakers. My Road Reel International Film Contest. Enter at myroadreel.com. Hey, we're here with uh, Peter from Temba, and we're going to talk about uh, getting your gear from one place to another in bags. Hey. Uh, so, yeah, so tell us about what you have that's new here this year and, um, you know, what, what else is going on? Well, some pretty exciting stuff. First, the thing that I'm wearing is uh, we're pretty excited about. This is the world's first ever solution for a really serious GoPro user. So while you're wearing it, even if you were on a snowboard or a bike, you can open this up from the back, and it's got all these pouches that organize your GoPro cameras, your mounts, your backs, and all the pouches are removable. They all just Velcro to the back wall, so you can take pieces out, configure it however you need. And when you uh, need extra batteries, and when you drop a thumb screw into the snow and can't pick it up, we got a battery wallet, thumb screw, pivot arms going to this quick access wallet. There's another wallet over here for your SD cards. So all these individual pouches have separate compartments inside them so you can organize all your backs and your cables and the mounts and all the various little Lego-like pieces that are really difficult to assemble while you're on a snowboard. And then the other thing is that it's got a, uh, a trolley strap on the back so if you're traveling with it you can put it over the handle of your rolling luggage. It's got really deep pockets in the side so you can put a water bottle in here or you can put a monopod, even the video style monopod with the stabilizing feet. It has a separate soft top compartment for sunglasses. Um, it's Camelback compatible, so it'll fit up to a 100 ounce Camelback. Same pocket also fits an iPad. And um, it's got a waterproof bottom on it, and it has tripod straps that allow you to attach a tripod to the bottom of it. It's just an unbelievable bag, because it weighs nothing all by itself. You just add as much of the interior as you want. And you can even add, um, accessories for, uh, well, pretty soon we'll have these removable inserts, so you can rip out the GoPro stuff, drop a DSLR into one of these mm. removable inserts, and drop that inside the bag. Yeah, I was going to say for like a Blackmagic Pocket, for Blackmagic yeah, Cinema, exactly. like any cameras, small camera, yeah. Accessories, so it's super, super versatile. The other thing that's new is our Messenger DNA bag. You know, we're a New York company. You live in New York. In New York, people don't have cars. They have Messenger bags, right? You live out of it. <laughs> So we build hardcore messenger bags for people who uh, use them all day long, every day with everything. So ours are pretty neat. One, they have a uh, waterproof bottom. In New York, you know, some people use the ground as a toilet. You want to keep that away from your camera gear inside. So that's important. We use these German magnetic clips. They uh, flick off and then they just drop on to reattach. So they're super easy. You can do it blindly when the bag is behind you or when you're wearing gloves. We have our signature top access so that you can quickly access your gear through here without having to open up the front flap. Uh, when you do go inside, it's got a really big interior. This one fits in a body with an attached 70 to 200 to 8. It's got a separate sleeve on the back for a 15 inch laptop and then a smaller sleeve for an iPad. It comes with a rain cover that's dual sided, silver on one side to reflect the sun and black if you want uh, a little bit more stealth. And the interior is completely removable, so you can quickly turn it into just a regular uh, city messenger bag. And so we have it in three sizes. This one fits a 15-inch laptop. We also have it for a mirrorless camera or DSLR that fits an 11-inch laptop or a MacBook Air. And we got a small one that's perfect for a small mirrorless system and an iPad mini. And that's the DNA messenger line. For people with bigger cameras, we got bigger stuff, like our uh, video this one fits either a DSLR system, or if you take out half these dividers, it'll easily fit a Sony FS700, a Canon Cinema System, or a Red Epix, really popular in here. But even with all this in it, and a 17-inch laptop, it's still international carry-on size. We have top access for audio gear, so this is great to fit uh, headphones and some lav mics. And then on both sides of the bag, we've got a nice tall pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom, it fits shotgun mics or a video monopod and then it'll fit a 17-inch laptop in the front. And the equipment access is only through the back. So working with documentary crews that are taking this on location into strange cities, they get $100,000 worth of stuff in here. They want to know that when they're in a crowded environment, no one can access the camera gear from the front. Or, or once again, that would work for New Yorkers also. Yeah, exactly, in New York. Okay, how about for uh, airplane travel in, in that situation? 
Yeah, we have our attache cases, which we hand build in Brooklyn. These are all our air cases that are completely shippable, and you can, um, you know, you can put camera gear inside of here. You can put lighting equipment. We've got another version of this that fits a 27-inch iMac that's completely shippable. With the computer inside the case, the whole thing is under 50 pounds, so you never pay overages at the airport. We also have a new case coming for the Mac Pro, the little black trash can, so that people will be able to carry and ship that really safely. Uh, very cool. So where does somebody go to find out all the complete pricing and how to order it and all that stuff? Yeah, you can find more information at tenba.com, T-E-N-B-A.com. All right. Thanks so much, Peter. Thanks so much.